friends welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Danielle for those of you who are new around here I love to talk all about affordable living and intentional homemaking and today on the channel we're gonna be doing a little homemaking in some spring decorating now this is kind of a part two to another video I did last week which was the spring decorating for my kitchen I love that video I love how everything came out in my kitchen it has been so lovely to just get that fresh of breath air throughout my kitchen as I'm baking and getting things ready for my family throughout the week so I've been loving that so I will leave a link for that video below but today we are going to be working on decorating our dining room and a few spaces in the living room as well to just get the house ready for springtime. Now, first of all, I want to apologize for how rough this angle is in my house. I did not realize just how bright those windows are. They get super bright in the middle of the afternoon. So it kind of came off a little crazy during that footage, but I love this high boy. I actually thrifted this from Habitat for Humanity a couple of years ago. I want to say I got it for $60. It was so affordable. I didn't do anything to the wash. It came just as is and I love it. I placed it into our dining room and it is the perfect location to house things like dishes that we don't use all the time, tablecloths, placemats, all of that kind of stuff. So I really love it and I just enjoyed kind of adding this tray to the top of it with some fresh florals as well as a little bit of faux, some terracotta. I love terracotta in the spring and summer. I could put terracotta pots all over our house. You can kind of see in the background of this footage that I have a ton of terracotta with real plants throughout the house. We love a lot of fresh live plants in our house. So yes, I do have some faux, but a lot of my decorating is done with real plants. And we have our little plant family that I love so much. So I really enjoy how this entire high boy came out. And then I swung over to my buffet and added all of the books that I am currently kind of reading through at the moment. Some of these I actually just finished, so I'm going to be transitioning them over already. But I like to have books that are a little bit themed to the season that I'm in but also books that I am just really enjoying getting a lot of knowledge education out of so that is there and on the other side I have a little treat jar within this cake plate I've already taken the little white jar out of it and added things like fresh baked cookies and lovely muffins and different things like that I really enjoy having fresh baked goodies in there so I've been loving having this cake dish on my buffet for treats for my family and I just finished it off with some faux florals and a few candles. This buffet is so lovely. I've talked about it on my channel before, but I got it for free and I absolutely love it. So many fun thrifted pieces. Most of the decor that I have in my home has been thrifted. I talked about that in my video last week, but I really enjoy trying to head to the thrift store and finding pieces that look lovely in my home, but cost me so little. I am so sick of going to these big box stores and spending $50 on pieces that honestly don't even last that long or are super trendy and kind of switch with the season. So then I just spent $50 on something that like isn't trendy anymore. So I really, really enjoy getting to the thrift store and finding some lovely things. On my dining room table, I got this beautiful tablecloth from a garden shop that I love. It did cost me a pretty penny, but I love it. It's one of my most favorite tablecloths that I own. And then this wicker basket, I actually thrifted last fall. I love it. It's beautiful. I've placed it all over my house and it just has such a fun like rattan gorgeous look and I filled it with some real 
flowers that my son actually picked out for me at the grocery store the other week um, in this gorgeous picture that my mother bought me for my birthday. She got it from an antique shop and I just think it is so lovely. It says, the Lord himself goes before you. It is such a beautiful piece. And I threw some books in here as well as a plant my husband picked up the other week um, in this thrifted crock that I've had sitting around and I wanted to put something lovely in it. So when he picked up this plant, I knew exactly where I wanted to place it. And I really love how my entire dining room table came together. It's really simple. It's very fresh and springy. And it's really easy to kind of move this little basket in the center of my table. If we were having like a dinner that has a bunch of different pieces to it, or I have people over, it's just something really simple and easy to move. So the following day, I kind of looked around and realized that I wanted a little bit more with the candles, like a riser almost underneath. And I totally forgot that I had thrifted this gorgeous plate just, I want to say like two or three months ago. And I had gotten it for the spring season. I totally forgot to pull it out. So I was like, I can pull this out and throw the candles on there. And it kind of adds a little bit of drama to this space. And I love how this now all plays well off of each other. And then there is this beautiful picture that I had on my wall. I put up at Christmas time and honestly, I was going to keep it up throughout the spring season as well. But then I went back and decided that I actually wanted to have something that had more of a botanical look, felt more springy. This, um, this picture that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby with the biblical verse on it was lovely, but just super dark. I, I wanted something that had some more likeness to it. So I pulled out this botanical print that I also thrifted a while ago, and I just love how it fills in this space nicely and again adds that spring air. It's really funny because on this print, it actually says October on it, and I have a matching one that says September upstairs. Apparently, this is a very famous print that a lot of people have or have had in their home. So so I love it up there. Even though it says October, I think it works great in the springtime. So I'm going to be moving into my living room and I have these shelves that I put up several years ago and I decorated them and I never really put anything different on them. I mean, sometimes at Christmas, I might put like a little Christmas decoration here or there, but for the most part, I've had the same thing on them since I put them up probably about four or five years ago now. So I was excited to take everything down and really try to get a new fresh look on these shelves. I thrifted these two pictures over the summertime. I had had them in our bedroom, but I didn't have them in a very prominent spot. So I thought that they would be the perfect addition to to the shelf here along with this gorgeous pottery milk pitcher I put that there along with the two candles that I have that usually kind of float around from space to space as I decorate and I really love how that came together and then I moved on to the top shelf I got this gorgeous sort of metal bracket a long time ago actually I want to say that I got this one like six or seven years ago when we were down in Delaware shopping and I love it I think it's beautiful so I added it to my top shelf along with these books that I did a DIY with several years ago. I actually did it for a friend's bridal shower and I ended up keeping it afterwards. I really love how I can use them as different areas of decor. And then I placed this house plant on top of it in this gorgeous terracotta picture that my mom did a mosaic on last year for me. I absolutely love this gorgeous um planter. It is beautiful. It is stunning. I then placed two of my favorite classic books on the shelf. They are from Amazon. I will link them in the description below. One of them is Emma, which is one of my favorite things to read in the springtime. And then the other one is Little Women. But these particular books have the most beautiful, just embossed floral pattern on them. I thought it would look so lovely with spring. And then I finished this entire space out with my white watering can. I'm not really sure if I love it here, if I'm being totally honest. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, this is a great design. And then sometimes I'm like, meh, I mean, it goes. I'm not sure if it was my favorite thing, but I'm liking it for now and it works for now. So that is what we are going with. And then the last space that I wanted to decorate is this radiator. Right when you walk into our home, we have this radiator to the side of our entry 
I have radiators all over my house. I've talked about this before, but my house was built in 1913, so it is over 110 years old. So we have radiator heating all throughout the house, which is interesting because it gives me a space to decorate on top of, but also it does not leave me a lot of space to put furniture on. So I do like to decorate on top of the radiators. A lot of the radiators have a bunch of different fun things on them, but I like to change up the one that is right by our entryway with the seasons. It just helps to really add a nice welcome to our house. So I did so with one of my favorite gathering baskets that I thrifted last summer. It is absolutely beautiful. I've used it through many seasons of my decor now. And I threw some of my favorite faux florals in there. Once I get hydrangeas that are actually blooming, I like to pull them out and stick them into this basket. But until my hydrangea bushes actually bloom, the faux florals will be beautiful. I then added two of my favorite thrifted books with some candles and this gorgeous scale that one of my friends actually gave me. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and watching this video. I love decorating. I love home decor. If that's stuff that you enjoy as well, definitely subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next week for another video. Have an amazing week, my friends. Bye.